everybody, I'm Marvin, and I've got a little Easter story for you because I've been at the church for 50 years, but I've been in the bottom of a box because I was a puppet. They had a little puppet show, and then they just kind of left me. And then Julie, you know, Julie, this Julie here, she was going through things to throw things out because she loves to throw things out and clean things up. Well, she was going to clean me up, I'll tell you. She looked into the box where I was, and I said, Julie, and she didn't see me, and she kept throwing things out. And then she got closer, and I said, Julie, and she kept uh, getting closer to me, and then she picked me up, and she was going to throw me away. And I said, Julie, and oh, my goodness. Then she listened and she looked at me and it was love at first sight. She was so nice to me and now I've got my home and I can sit in my rocking chair and I then can see you guys and oh, I feel like it's Easter every day for me. Oh, thank you, Marvin, for sharing. Can everybody wave at Marvin to welcome him and let him know how happy we are with, that he's with us today and he's not in his basket? Oh boy, I feel released. I'm so happy you're here, Marvin. Every time I see you, you make me smile and you make me laugh, which makes me happy. And when I see you, Julie, I smile because I feel warm and cared for. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, everyone, we're going to now tell the Easter story. It's going to be Marvin and I. But before we get into that special story, Marvin, can you tell us what happened on Friday, just three days ago? Oh, it was so sad. They call it Good Friday, and I don't know quite why, because that's the day Jesus was crucified, and he died on the cross. Yeah, that is very sad. That's hard, isn't it? Death is hard. Oh, boy, I, I kind of shed some tears. The good yeah. news is, is the story doesn't end there. So now, because it's Easter, I'm going to tell the rest of the Easter story, which is the good news. And this comes from your Bible. Early on the morning of the third day after Jesus' death, Mary, Joanna, and some other women who really loved Jesus went to the tomb where he had been taken. They walked sadly and quietly, and they were carrying sweet-smelling spices to place on his body. Why were they carrying spices like salt and pepper or what's going on here? No, in those days for the Jewish tradition to get the body ready for burial, they would have aloe and myrrh and they would put that on some linen strips and then wrap the body in it. And that was called their burial preparation. Oh, oh, well, that makes sense. That they thought they were going to bury Jesus. Yes, exactly. Whoa. So, when they looked in the tomb, they were surprised. The stone was rolled away from the cave and opening. They looked in, but Jesus was not there. The women were confused and they were scared. Who had moved the body? Boy, I would have been scared too. Somebody stole the body, they thought. Yes. So while the women were wondering about this, two men in shining clothes suddenly stood before them. The women were very afraid and they bowed their heads to the ground. Marvin, do you know who those two men are? Well, I bet I know what they were. They were angels. Ah, very good. Marvin, you were listening in that basket for the last 50 years, weren't you? I had to do something, Julie. <laughs> All right. So the men said to the women, this is where the dead are kept. Jesus is not here. He has been raised to life. Why are you looking for a living person in this place for the dead? Then the women remembered what Jesus had said to him about dying, but on the third day that God would bring him back to life. Oh boy, that's right. They couldn't remember because that's what Jesus predicted. He's, he didn't predict it. He knew it. He said, I'm going to come back to life. And he did. Absolutely. Good job, Marvin. The women left the tomb and they were eager to tell the 11 disciples the good news. They ran back to the disciples yelling, he is alive, shouted the women. But the disciples didn't believe the women because it sounded to them like a bunch of nonsense. 
Well, those guys were wrong. It wasn't nonsense. It was the truth. Jesus is risen! Hallelujah. Good work, Marvin. They should have listened to the women. But Peter, who is one of the disciples, he was a friend of Jesus, wasn't so sure. So he got up and he ran to the tomb when he looked inside. This time, though, the two men in the shining white clothes were not there. And when he looked in the tomb, he saw only the cloth that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. Peter went away to his home, wondering about what had happened. And he asked himself, was Jesus really alive? Well, Jesus took off. And he really was alive. He is risen. So he'll find out pretty soon. Yes. And if you come next week, we're going to find out for sure that's the story for next week.